Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Infected. Um, I have just went ahead and placed the oil distiller here. I did not really mean to do that because now I don't have everything I need to head out. But I do want to start dropping some stuff in there. And now we are short one iron ore. And this is just copper. Great. Very, very lovely. Not helpful at all. Um, I think we need the copper for the greenhouse. Oh dear, dear, dear. What am I doing here? Okay, copper ingots is in there. Planks are in there. Nails are in there. We need all of this stuff back. Except for the copper ingot. Because now we are struggling. Okay. We need four nails. One, two, three, four. We need five planks. Got those. And now we just have to wait on one iron ore. Luckily for us, we do have five fragments ready to go. Let's go ahead and get those in there. Let's check on this production here. Let's take all of that stuff. We are super, super heavy. Let's try to get over here without taking um, any damage from any of the Vambies outside, if there are any out there. Hopefully we don't get attacked by those. So let's just go ahead and drop these in here, because we are going to need extras. As you have witnessed, we make mistakes all the time. Okay. We have the planks, we have the nails, we have the biofuel that we need, we have the iron ingot. We're just waiting on one more, so while we're waiting on that... I do want to show you guys sort of what I've been doing upstairs. Let's just get up there first and foremost. I have been placing some of the... Whoa! I have been placing some of the roof pieces that we've been needing. I do have logs in most of them. Um, so I want to get this story completed. Over here is something different that we're going to have to work with. Uh, for this story, I'm going to have to, you know, come up from the first floor up to the second floor come around this area and then up to the third floor because um, having another stair anywhere closer than this just wouldn't work. It doesn't allow you the room to get up there. Or it doesn't look good either. So there's that. Uh, what we're going to do with this is we're going to attempt to close that in a bit. Uh, potentially, maybe. But if not, we'll definitely close that in at the top just like this. And I think it'll look pretty okay. Um... With that being said, hopefully the last iron ingot that we need hopefully is complete down here. Um, we hope that's enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think that's right, but just in case my math is a bit wrong, let's drop some of these off over here and uh, we'll get exactly what we need. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so we're just going to head out to the copper site just over here and um, try to get one of these guys placed, get it going, get it started uh, producing some copper. And we're going to need cobalt as well, but for now we're just going to try to get this one completed. But let's first figure out how to drive this truck and stay inside it would help. Tremendous. Uh, but let's get over there and get that placed. Okay, so we are over here at the copper cave. Fairly certain that's what's um, inside this cave is copper. But I do want to go ahead and get um, the mineral extractor placed here. Get it started producing some copper would be lovely. Um, we'll just build it and then we'll move it to where we need it to be. Let's just pick you up and I want to rotate you a bit something like that get the biofuel in here get it placed come on get it powered on I'm gonna grab a few ores and um, a few resources while we're in here mushrooms are not bad to have um, I'm gonna grab a bit of this coal and hopefully a bit more lead as well but I won't bore you guys with that I'll meet you guys when we get finished with that. Okay, so we have a full, full uh, weight limit of resources that we can get, which is lovely. I don't mind that at all. Let's see if we can get turned around here. 
Hopefully we can get back over to our base and get started working on some other things that we could hopefully get done today. Okay, so we made it back to the base with all of our resources that we did get. Which was mostly lead, but that's what you expect from the cave, right? So, we have that. Let's go ahead and shove all of that in here. We have some iron as well, which is lovely. I mean, considering we don't have a ton of it, getting any of that is lovely. We have a couple of fragments there also. We don't have anything going on over here, but the fire is out. So, that's okay. Um, first things first. Let's go ahead and put these mushrooms away as well and start grabbing planks because I want to get some of the upstairs completed. Well, let's see. Do we really want to build again today? Um, let's see what we can place today. Let's see how much power we can get. Ooh, wire pole. What's that all about? Um, just a light. Just a light source. Okay, we can do that on top of the base. That'll be excellent. Um, battery storage would be okay. But we don't have enough of the resources to craft a solar panel right now. We definitely don't have enough for that. Iron, lead, and cobalt. We could potentially craft a wind turbine. But just having one of those is not really going to help us a ton. But we're really going to have to start working on getting some of this stuff up and going for sure. I don't know how we're going to hide all of the wiring that we need to hide in the base. But we're going to do as much as possible when it comes to hiding that. We're going to do our best with it. And we might actually have to run some of it along the walls here. Uh, no, that won't look exactly great, but it might be something we have to do. We might even have to run it up close to the roof. Um, but we'll do as much as we can get done, and hopefully we can get that completed without too much of an issue. We need three aluminum, three plastic, and some planks. Three aluminum and three plastic. Okay, I thought there was some extra stuff here. Two and three aluminum. Um, plastic is here with the Kevlar. Three plastic. Planks. Let's grab some of those. I'm not sure how many we needed. That seems like enough. And I know we don't have any iron fragments right now. We also need... 19 iron fragments we're gonna have to do that guys because we are desperate for fuel for the truck now didn't realize that it was going to be that much of a big deal but it is the fuel goes down pretty quickly in the truck as well let's go ahead and add some stone there and then let's start this with some coal get that in here and we'll get this stuff started refining we are going to have to build ourselves a second forge. But before I do that, I really want to have some of the upstairs completed, some of the roof pieces done, so that the forge can burn during the rain as well. Because currently, if the rain hits the forge, being that there's no roof on the second floor, then that causes an issue. It goes out, we can't get any forging done, and I really don't want that to be the problem or the case at all up there. I am going to also, and hopefully this will work out, but I do think that I am going to build a wooden internal wall just there, as well as an interior wall there. The reason being is I want to separate the space up a bit. Uh, just to make sure that we have like a foraging room with lots and lots of storage and all of that stuff so we can place storage all around the wall here and over here as well because I am going to be doing this quite a bit inside here. Um, I don't want to block any of the doorways with anything like that so 
the doors will be against the inside just to make sure that we have room over here for what we need to get done uh, but first things first let's go ahead and start adding planks we also need some logs which means mike is going to have to do a bit of work for us it appears that he currently has done some work for us having the log stands completely full isn't a bad thing at all but first things first let's grab these over here and let's get more come on okay it's a bit more difficult than it had to be but of course we don't do anything the easy way most of the time let's grab three more of you guys just get this done just get it done not a big deal here let's get back over here and get some more of these guys and hopefully we can get something accomplished today over here and I really want to build myself a forge room up here um, but hopefully we can get that done today and you can go right there and with that being said let's attempt to place a couple more uh, ceiling pieces in here just to have this done and out of the way really um, come on Okay, if I do it this way, you are the direction I need you to be, you are as well, so on and so forth. And you look good as well. So it takes two logs and eight planks for these interior walls. Not huge deal, considering we have Mike helping us out quite a bit. Mike is a lifesaver. I originally gave him some negative feedback just because he was getting stuck on the uh, plank stand or on the log stands but we found out how to fix that just leave some space in between each of these and he shouldn't be you know getting stuck in there anymore um, really hope he comes along with some logs pretty soon because we are currently out of logs okay let's just um, add some more up here Come on. Oh dear, don't fall. We need you up here. And two. I'm out of planks there, and I need logs there. Okay, let's see if there's any downstairs that we can grab really quick. Uh, probably not, but hopefully. Yeah, there's some down here, but we need those for the saw bench because we are completely out of planks in the saw bench as well okay let's just get out here and chop a couple of trees we haven't done this in a while it's not gonna hurt us i don't think let's just grab one big tree one small tree and that's enough to fill up the cart don't go flying everywhere that would be lovely and we have one more just here let's get back inside we're helping Mike out just a tiny bit hopefully Mike appreciates it he might be over there um, having a conniption fit as well with the storage he does this weird running back and forth thing when the crop or when the storage baskets are full of crops and he doesn't have anywhere to place anything else Okay, I'm definitely going to have to turn off the garden, the, the plants. We just have an excessive amount of that. So, just repair stuff and replenish the log stands for now, Mike. We have way too much of that going on. Where did I leave my cart? Okay, so he is bringing in some logs now. Hopefully, I brought the cart inside. I did. Let's get upstairs and get over here and finish this up uh, making a forge room is not a bad thing guys um, very excited about it as well we really do need to get this done okay I do need some planks I did forget to bring that up here okay so 
for now, let's just grab all of these planks again. Because we are going to need them anyway. It's not a big deal if we have too many. We can always drop them in a wall piece, a ceiling piece, or something along those lines. Okay. So hopefully we can get this forge room done. Okay, we need planks. Planks and planks over here. We need some more log pieces. Not bad. One more log, I think. We'll do it over here. And I think that looks okay for now. Let's just add some planks here. And here as well. We only need one more log having that completed. And hopefully there's some over here, but there doesn't appear to be any over here. Okay, so I am going to leave one log out of the um, saw bench so that I can finish the forge room upstairs. Okay. Very, very lovely. We do have some windows up here as well. Um, so that's nice, you know, to let out some of the heat from the forges. Very, very lovely. I don't think that's a mechanic in the game right now, but it um, just seems like it should be, right? Okay. Um, first things first. Let's just start others. Let's start building another forge. Let's just put these guys, see if we can get two of them right here. Um, hopefully that looks okay. That's bit crooked I think but I can always build it and then rotate it a tiny bit so I need 50 dry bricks 10 iron ingots ouch the iron ingots just keep being an issue for us uh, we don't have any iron do we we have some let's take you and I know we have some fuel in here but it's only one piece of coal and it's not a huge deal right now but I do want to move you up here um right there might be okay i'll play around with those a bit just to make sure that we have them where we want them i'm going to put the 10 iron ingots in there and then i'm going to get down here and get 50 dry bricks i don't think we can carry them but i'll bring the crate with me okay let's get in here just get all of these placed into this forge and then we can start stone production um, sorry sand production with stone and things like that so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal let's just take you back downstairs and we'll place you back right here so that we'll have you when we need you again I do want to start upgrading the walls a bit to the brick and the floor I would like to upgrade to cement, even though it's really, really ugly. Um, but maybe we could get that done. Not totally sure on that yet. Okay, so what do we need for the greenhouse? I really am trying to get this done. Uh, we need glass and nails. We don't have any nails, or we don't have enough. Um, we have enough to make 10. Let's just do that. Let's see how many we have over here in our crate. And let's get out our spear. Ouch, ouch. Don't break anything. I'm coming. I'm coming. I really wish that the red shirt guy will come back. I do fully expect that I'm going to have to work on the settings a bit. I might just reduce the amount of hit points he has, even though I really don't like doing that. And just turn on the... Um, Bambi's this the uh, groupings or whatever that was called uh, turn that back on so we'll have it going okay I am gonna have to start working on some shelving for the ores I need a, the storage brought up here for the ores as well in the raw form um, so we might have to start building another storage area for all of that we might even do our ores shelving just here along the front. Um, it shouldn't stick out in the way at all. Let's go ahead and have a little look at that. And see if it will stick out in the path at all. Placeables. 
storage. Let's do an iron ingot shelf. And let's see. No, I think that'll be perfect. Yeah, I don't think that would be an issue at all right there. Just having that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We can do a lot of those down that direction. We can even do some of the more um, harder to get ores down here, such as steel, stuff like that. Um, I think that would look okay. We might have to maybe do some doubles over here on this wall or even back here. Uh, but I really need this area for storage, so we might end up using this portion down here for ores. That's probably what will happen. I'm going to use this side for storage and this side for the ores. Um, so I might do some doubles, like the ones that we use the most of, such as iron and copper and cobalt. Uh, too high here, and then use the steel and lead maybe just over here. I think that would be okay. But anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.